Welcome to Designer Digital's Quick Tips for Digital Scrapbooking. And this tip will show how to rotate brushes in Photoshop and Elements. Photoshop brushes are some of the most versatile and fun tools for digital design. Designer Digital's offers over 3,400 brush sets at last count. That's an incredible array of design choices. Many times when we've worked with the brush sets, I've used the PNG images that come with each download. But in the next few tips, we'll explore shortcuts for working with the ABR brush file, including some brand new ones that were just introduced in Photoshop 2020. To begin, load the ABR brush file of your choice into your software. Here's an easy way. After downloading and unzipping the brush set, you can just drag the ABR file into the editing window of Photoshop. So I can just drag this right over into the editing window. The brushes will populate at the bottom of the brush picker in the options bar. If you're using an older version of the software or Photoshop Elements, refer to our tip on loading and using brush files in Photoshop and Elements. It walks you through using the Preset Manager instead. So you can go to Edit, Presets, Preset Manager, and in older versions, you can choose Brush from the drop-down and load them that way. Now to work with the brush set, open a new document. I'm going to use Control-N on a Mac system, that's Command-N, and just go ahead and create a new document. You could also start by opening a piece of digital paper. In the Layers panel, click the Create a New Layer icon. It'll be at the bottom of the Layers panel in Photoshop and at the top of the Layers panel in Elements. This places a transparent layer above your background layer. I always recommend creating your brushwork on a new transparent layer so that you can hide or delete or resize or change the blending mode of the brushwork later without having to do a lot of undoing. Get the brush tool from the tools panel. In the tool options, click the brush picker menu. This will be at the top of the Photoshop screen or at the bottom of the element screen. The newly loaded brushes will be at the bottom of your preview. So we can toggle this open and see all of the sentiments that we just loaded. In Elements, you'll choose the new folder from the brush picker, and then choose one of the brushes from the set. Select a brush from the new set, and then you can brush or stamp on the new transparent layer at this point. Keep in mind that the foreground color chip will be the color of your brush. The brush will be stamped at the angle that the designer created the image. But what if you need that image tilted or turned? I find this particularly necessary when I'm using a painting brush, like watercolor images. Using the brush at the same angle over and over again doesn't look very realistic. It's also sometimes desirable when you're stamping words on a background or if you want to turn the image on its side. This is where the little compass icon in the brush options comes into play. Okay, let's switch over to Photoshop Elements for Method 1. If you're working in Elements, go ahead and load your brush by going to Edit, Preset Manager, choosing Brushes, and then adding a brush set. Click the brush set you want to add and click Load, and then press Done. You'll find the brush under here in the Tool Options in the Brush Picker window. It will have created its own little folder here. And then you can select a brush. I'm going to create a new transparent layer on top of the background and then go into Brush Settings. And you'll see there's this little compass. If I were to stamp now, the words would be straight across. But if you turn this little arrow on the compass, you can tilt or twist the brush. And now let's head back over to Photoshop. In Photoshop, you can find the tool in the brush picker above the brush previews. So I'll go back to the brush previews and you can see here the little compass is in the top left corner. So I can turn that 
and that tilts or twists the open brush. You can also find this under Window Brush Settings. You can see here that you can change the angle using the same little compass that we found in the brush picker window. Just turning the dial changes the angle of the brush. Method 2 is something new that just started in Photoshop 2020. Let me undo these so I can show you how this one works. Now you can change the brush angle on the fly by simply pressing the left or right arrow keys. Once the brush is activated, hover above your new blank document. Press and hold one of the arrow keys to watch the brush angle turn. When you're satisfied with the tilt, you can click to apply the brush. This is a game changer since you can change the angle as you work without stopping. If I go to the left, it tilts in that direction, and if I use the right arrow, it tilts over to the right. You can also hold the shift key and it goes a lot faster. All right, let me undo this again and we'll work with method number three. So I'm gonna get a new brush and it will be a straight horizontal because that's the way it was designed. But since we're doing our brush work on its own layer, the third way to create a tilt is to stamp the brush on your new transparent layer. Switch to the Move tool in the Tools panel. That's usually the first tool. And press Control-T or on a Mac system, Command-T to get the transform controls. With the transform controls around the image that you just stamped, hover over a corner. When it changes to a curved arrow, you can drag the corner to tilt the image. If you shift and drag, it tilts at 15 degree increments and it makes it easier to keep it completely straight. I like to use the shift key because I feel like it gives me more control. Click the check mark to confirm the tilt. Using these methods gives you the flexibility to apply your brushwork at an angle that works for your design. And if you're using Photoshop CC, which is Photoshop 2020 now, you'll likely enjoy the new shortcut for tilting your brushes as you work. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this week's video, like and subscribe and click the bell below for notifications.